Welcome to Retro Crisis. Sunken, a friend of the channel, is back with some new CRT shader presets. So firstly, go to his homepage, which I've linked in the description. Go down until you get to this download link. Let's open this in a new tab and then click on the big blue download button and then go back to his homepage and you'll see this bold text here where it says you'll also need Guestar's latest shader updates. So click on the you can grab it here link and you'll see this lovely picture of an old man. Go to the download link, let's open that in a new tab and then click the big green download button. On the left hand side I've got the two zip files I just downloaded, so Sunken's shader presets and the latest version of Guest Advanced. And on the right hand side I've got my RetroArch location. So firstly let's unzip both of these zip files. Now we can delete the two zip files. Now what we need to do is open up the Sunken folder. And here where it says Sunken, if we just cut this, cut, and in your RetroArch folder go to Shaders shaders slang and then what you need to do is paste it into the shader slang folder and then it should appear right here let's quickly go into it and within the sunken folder you'll see three other folders aperture grill shadow mask and slot mask if you seal that you've done very well everything's great and now you'll be left with the crt guest advanced folder so open that up and within there you'll see shaders and five other shader presets now in your shader slang folder on this side, open up the CRT folder and you'll see like a hundred files here. What we want to do is cut the guest advanced files and just paste them here in the CRT folder. And it should say something like, the destination has 55 files with the same name, yep, replace them. So that's the uh, installation done. Now open RetroArch. Once you're in RetroArch, open up a game of your choice and then press F1 to go to the quick menu. Before I continue, you might notice that my kind of text size in my menus is a bit smaller, that all the icons are a little bit smaller. Personally, I prefer doing this just so I can see all the options on screen at once. If you want to learn how to do this, I'll leave a link to a very short video guide in the description below. But for now, go down to Shaders, go to Load, go to Shaders Slang, and go all the way down until you see Sunken. And then once you're here, you can choose between three different masks. We have Aperture Grill, Shadow Mask, and Slot Mask. And then within each one of them, you have a curved and flat shader preset variant. And then within each one of those, you can choose between 1080p, 1440, or 4K. And then within each one of those, you have <laughs> around I think it's like 50 something shader presets yep 54 shader presets there is so much variety in Sonken's packs I don't know how uh, how he has time to maintain all of these but somehow he does okay so I will quickly break down the naming convention of these shader presets so let's go down to a random one let's try this one here so the first number is just the order number of each preset so this one says 10 as it's the 10th preset in this folder Secondly, it says 4K. This refers to the resolution of the display that you should be using this shader preset on. Secondly, where it says CRT Guest Advanced NTSC, that's in reference to Guest's CRT Guest Advanced NTSC shader. Next, it says Slot Mask. That's in reference to the CRT mask that's being used. So the that kind of strange pattern that you see on the screen, which gives the screen its kind of a texture, so to speak. Next is U, and I believe this is a region code. So this might be in reference to North America. You can also choose between Japan and PAL. And after that, we have warm. And this is in reference to the color temperature of the screen. Alternatives include normal and cool. And then next it says composite Mega Drive rainbows. So composite being the cable type, so the old composite cables you could use, and Mega Drive rainbows being the uh, the Mega Drive rainbowing effect that you would see on some old CRT screens. You also have a choice between RF, S Video, RGB. Also, anyway, feel free to use whichever presets you want on whichever games you want. I recommend experimenting with all of them. And hopefully you'll find something that you can vibe with. Okay, so let's take a look at some of Sunken's presets in action. 